Well, we got another silly season update today. So, earlier this morning, Levine Family Racing announced that their team is up for sale. Meaning, it will not race after this season. Most likely. But yeah, that now leaves Christopher Bell without a ride. Which he probably should go to the 20 at JGR. Like, come on, guys. But if he does that, where's Eric Jones gonna go? The 48, I guess? I don't know. Like, then, they also said that the leading team right now is none other than Spire Motorsports. So Spire Motorsports could be a second car next year. And honestly, that could give Justin Haley a cup ride. I mean, he's already raced for Spire several times before. Kind of wish it. I kind of wish they would give Colleg Racing the charter, and that Colleg would officially open a cup team full time for Haley or Almondinger. Like, it would be cool to see Almondinger back in the cup series. Like, I would definitely not mind seeing Colleg with a full time cup team and three Xfinity teams. Like, I totally would not see that. I totally would not mind seeing this. Assuming that Ross Chastain will likely be going to the 42, then that leaves the 77 for Spire Motorsports, which does have a charter open. I mean, unless some, somehow Ross Chastain doesn't end up in the 42 next season full time. Like, yeah, now there's a whole bunch of guys that don't have rides and are just up in the air, like where they could go next year. Like, Christopher Bell, Eric Jones probably. Like, Justin Haley, Austin Sindrick. I do believe that Matt DiBenedetto might be going back to Wood Brothers next year. So I think that maybe leaves Austin Sindrick out, out there if anybody wants to sign him. Chase Briscoe, Justin Allgaier. Like, all of these different drivers now have open rides. The silly season is just beginning, guys. This is what happens, you just see a bunch of guys without rides. Like... So yeah, there are a whole bunch of guys that could possibly be going into some of these rides, because if Christopher Bell was going to the 20, then we could have assumed that Eric Jones would move over to the 95, but now that the 95 isn't an option anymore, where's Eric Jones gonna go? Like, either Eric Jones or Christopher Bell. Like, cause Christopher Bell isn't confirmed to the 20 yet. But honestly, I would rather see him in the 20. Like, he's... He should be an Xfinity Series champion. But he isn't. I mean, neither is Eric Jones. They both won truck championships, but neither one of them have an Xfinity championship. So yeah, both of them are in the air. I'm assuming that... Pretty sure Kyle Busch has like a four years left on a contract with Gibbs 
Denny Hamlin is definitely not leaving Gibbs because of his success this year. I don't assume Truex is leaving either. Like, honestly, Spire shouldn't get another car. I don't want another part-time starting park car to be racing multiple different drivers in this series. Like, that's not fun. Like, sure. Like, if Spire's gonna open up a second car next season, then give the charter to someone else. Give the charter to Carl Long or somebody. Like, sure, Carl Long with Timmy Hill at MBM Motorsports. They don't have a charter, but they have one driver throughout the season. Watch them give it to Rick Ware Racing in the 54. Just watch him do it. Or premium for the 27. I mean, 27 is both of them, but still. Like, seriously. If Spire gets this car and just has it be a start and park car in the back of the field the whole time, then, like, half the field is going to be back markers by, like, 2025. Like, only half the field is going to have a chance to win the race. Like, we've already got, like, ten cars, maybe, in the field that are just start and park cars in the back. Like, let me see if I can count them all. Okay, so there's Rick Ware Racing the 51, Rick Ware Racing the 27, Rick Ware Racing the 53, um, Premium in the 15, Starcom in the double zero, hmm. Spire in their current 77 car, MBM in the 66, Gaunt Brothers in the 96. Let me see if I can find another one. I think that's it. So yeah, currently eight cars in the field are starting parks, and they're all chartered. Besides maybe Suarez. Suarez has had great runs these past few weeks. MBM got a top 20 at Bristol. MBM also at least made the Daytona 500. Like, didn't they say they had to make that race or they would cease operations? Like, yeah. So anyway, that leaves a with uh, With Levine Family Racing shutting down... That leaves a whole bunch of guys with possibilities to go somewhere else. Like, I could see... Like, I could see Corey LaJoy out of a riot at the end of this season. Like... And no, that's not because of his sponsor. Like, I have thought Corey LaJoy would lose his ride at the end of the season since the beginning of the season. So yeah, that leaves cars that could possibly end up without rides at the end of the season. Eric Jones and Christopher Bell, they're... I mean, Eric Jones isn't officially out of a ride yet, but Christopher Bell definitely is. Honestly, I don't even know. Like...
like Daniel Suarez has come up in the question. Good. They should give that charter to either Ganassi or Penske because they deserve another charter. Penske has how many wins this year? They have seven wins this year. Penske has seven wins. How do they only have three cars and not four? While Rick Ware Racing has four. Like, honestly, they should open up another car. And give it to maybe Austin Sindrick. And give it to maybe Matt Benedetto. Like, honestly... Chase Briscoe deserves to go to the Cup Series, but there's, like, no rides available except for maybe the 14, which I'm pretty sure is going to go to Larson. Like, Tony Stewart, like, has officially gained interest in... Like, he's had interest in signing Larson, so there is no way that Briscoe is going to the 14 next year. Like, it's most likely going to be Larson. <sighs> so, yeah, that was this video. It's kind of a pointless video, but I made it anyway. But I'll see you guys next time.